We have 60% of our student population are from racially minoritized groups and we have such a wide range of socioeconomic status too and so we have a really great medley of perspective and experience at our institution but with that comes different um, different experiences of navigating post-secondary options. If post-secondary completion has not been part of their um, personal life experience in their family, it is quite daunting and uh, overwhelming to consider you're going to either go away to a traditional college experience uh, or even locally. And it may seem like the local community college is only a, a half hour away, but that half hour may be a world away for those students if they've never stepped foot on a college campus. It's, a, it's an access issue and, a, and an information issue. So um, the key barriers that we're seeing young people face is truly just a, a lack of information about their options. So um, a lack of awareness about the various careers that we have in our region that are high wage and high demand. Um, and so we really feel like getting those career insights early is important so that students have options. A lot of what we do is, is just trying to help kids figure out what the next step's gonna be. If they can start thinking about what the future can look like in ninth grade, then that will kind of help guide what the next four years in high school will look like. When we think 13th year, we're thinking, you know, is that um, a collaboration between high schools and post-secondary? Is that, um, you know, essentially giving the students the driver's seat to sort of create their own paths. It's much more about student voice, learner needs. What are they asking for? What are they craving? What do we see that's kind of in between the lines? And how can we make sure we're meeting those needs? The biggest thing is to listen um, and not to tell young learners what they need. They will tell you. There was a set of students who said, I didn't get access to this in high school, and I don't even understand what my options are. I want another year to figure it out. We also had young people who were doing technical training in high school or had started college coursework in high school and said, I want to keep doing this. A 13th year approach to education would be taking advantage of the infrastructure and the support systems in, in a high school to help a student attain that first year of college uh, and increase their likelihood of success while they're doing it. So if we can get some of that college credit done while in high school or in a 13th year, um, all at no cost to the young person, then they're gonna, they're gonna be able to graduate you know, with a leg up.